With Disney acquiring the rights to 20th Century Fox, it's very likely that the MCU will be adding a lot more superheroes to their already stacked roster. But how they're going to accommodate all these heroes into upcoming Avengers movies is unknown. Well, we got a few ideas of how new heroes will be showcased in the MCU, and unfortunately, the School of Mutants isn't first on our list. But before we start theorizing about which group of superheroes will share the big screen with some of our MCU favorites, subscribe to CBR and ring that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss any of our MCU videos. Now that the X-Men, Deadpool, and the Fantastic Four have all fallen into the hands of the powerhouse that is Disney, Marvel and comic book fans alike can expect to see a merger of various superhero cinematic universes. It's a given that we'll see both the X-Men and the Fantastic Four in the MCU sooner than later, but we think that the Fantastic Four will show up in the MCU first, and we'll explain why that is. The X-Men franchise has been going on for almost 20 years now, and next year we'll be getting Dark Phoenix and the New Mutants. While these two films have been pushed back a few times now and are going through massive reshoots, the films will still come out at some point, we hope, which means that Disney won't be able to bring the X-Men into the MCU before the current Fox films are all out. While it's unclear what'll happen to all the other X-Men films that Fox is planning, we still hope Disney will allow Deadpool 3 to happen. The X-Men franchise is still ongoing, and it'll make much more sense if Marvel puts the X-Men on ice for a bit once their last few Fox films come out. Considering that both Dark Phoenix and New Mutants don't appear to be very promising. Some fans will say that Marvel Studios did reboot Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War only two years after The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out. So why wouldn't they do the same with the X-Men? Yes, we agree with that notion, but we got to admit that Spider-Man is far more popular than the X-Men, and he's just one character. The X-Men have tons and tons of characters that need the proper time to be introduced and explored. We're not saying that Marvel should wait years before before bringing the X-Men into the MCU, but waiting for at least two or three years after the Fox X-Men franchise is all done will do a world of good for the characters. And that brings us to the Fantastic Four. Unlike the X-Men, the Fantastic Four have only four characters to explore, and while the X-Men films have had a lot of hits and misses, we will admit that Fox did have some really amazing X-Men films. But we can't say the same about the Fantastic Four. All three Fantastic Four films that we got were all over the place, and we know that once Marvel Studios gets their hands on these characters, they'll be doing them justice. The Fantastic Four are considered to be Marvel's first family, and they were actually a team long before the Avengers even assembled, meaning that they hold a special place in the hearts of many Marvel fans. While the Fantastic Four films missed the mark completely, we're sure that the good people at Marvel Studios will find the best way to make these characters work. Sure, it'll be great to see someone like Wolverine join the MCU right away, but you have to admit it'll be very hard to accept a new actor stepping into the iconic shoes that Hugh Jackman filled for 17 years. So, like we said, it's good to allow fans to miss the X-Men for a bit because it'll make us really appreciate them once they join the MCU. On the other hand, the Fantastic Four aren't missed. In fact, most people will dismiss another Fantastic Four film, but that's because they don't know how great the Fantastic Four could actually be in the right hands. We don't want Marvel to rush things too much, since one thing that the MCU does so well is introduce characters at the right time and in the right way. Just shoehorning the Fantastic Four into Phase 4 won't work, but we're sure Marvel Studios will find the best time to bring the team into the mix. And with the MCU now dealing with elements like the Quantum Realm, the Multiverse, and other realities, the Fantastic Four can join the MCU organically, since those elements are right in their wheelhouse. One of the greatest things about the Fantastic Four is that they're a family, and many of their stories revolve around that. They're not just a few superheroes who team up every three years, and they're not a bunch of misfits who ended up becoming a team. They've known and worked with each other before they got their powers, and they have tons of unique stories that could work perfectly in the MCU. What other Disney property about a family of superheroes did really well? The Incredibles. Anyone who knows anything about the Fantastic Four knows that the Incredibles films are the perfect blueprint for how a Fantastic Four film should be like. Marvel Studios could easily bring Brad Bird, who directed the Incredibles films, to do a Fantastic Four one, since he already pretty much did two great Fantastic Four films with the Incredibles movies anyway. Of course, with the Fantastic Four joining the MCU before the X-Men, we'll finally see some of the best Marvel villains join the MCU. Characters like the Devourer of Worlds, Galactus, the time-traveling Kang the Conqueror, and of course, Doctor Doom, who could easily become one of the main threats of Phase 4. Let's be honest, having Doctor Doom around as 
soon as possible is pretty much the only argument we need to make. With a mixture of technology and magic, Doctor Doom is the perfect villain to follow up Thanos. We'd even go as far as to say that the Fantastic Four film shouldn't include Doom. Instead, it would be interesting to see the ruler of Latveria go toe-to-toe -to -toe against someone like Black Panther or even Doctor Strange. After all, we had three Fantastic Four films with Doctor Doom being the main villain, so maybe the best way to break that curse is to have the first Fantastic Four film in the MCU have another villain. Maybe someone like Namor the Submariner, or Molecule Man, or you know what? Even someone like Mole Man would do, since he was actually the first villain the Fantastic Four went up against in the comics. We think that Doctor Doom could even be the main villain in Avengers 5, or even, and this is a crazy idea, have his own standalone film. The MCU really stepped up their villain game recently, and if there's one villain who should get his own film in the MCU, it's Doctor Doom. Just think about how fresh it'll be to have a villain explored in his own solo film before going up against other heroes. Now that would be something original. All of this and more is a good indication that it'll make sense for Marvel Studios to bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU as soon as possible. While we're sure there's an urgency to add the X-Men as well, we think that right now it'll make sense for Marvel's first family to finally enter the MCU. And that's why we think the Fantastic Four will join the MCU before the X-Men. Which new superheroes do you want to see join the MCU? How do you think they'll be integrated into the movies? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more MCU videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.